guys doing today? This is Cameron and my son Jason, special host for today's um, My Pigeon Magazine 20 questions. So we're gonna flip the script. He's gonna be ans asking me the questions today and I'm gonna be answering for My Pigeon Magazine. So I wanna introduce you to Jason. Hello. Okay, so anytime you're ready. And this is a Jacobin pigeon. Doesn't want to play with us today. Okay, okay, it's okay. The Jacobin pigeon is a bird of royalty. Okay, or oh, dignity. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, hey, Dad. Yes. Please tell us your name. Uh, my name is Cameron the Tanagan. Yours is a hobby. Of um, pigeons? I'm 45 years old, and I had my dad had pigeons ever since I was born. So, uh, technically, 45 years in the hobby. Okay, um, and your town. Can, can I talk to the mic. Your town and hometown. Well, I was born. Uh, first place I was at Haleiwa. Then we moved to Ever Beach, and I've been in Ever Beach all my life. Well, I've been going Pro City. Yeah, remember we was in Pro City. Yeah. Yeah, but Ever Beach. Okay, your occupation, and how do you support your hobby? Uh, I've been lucky enough to be with UPS for about 25 years. And I do a lot of side jobs, a lot of different things to support my hobby. Okay, your um, next question. Mentor and influential <laughs> Influential person. Influential person. Well, my mentor and my most influential person is my dad, Mike Lathanagan. Um And he's going to be doing one of the interviews very soon, so um, stay tuned. Okay, what's your favorite breed? My favorite breed? Hmm. Next to the Jacobin, this is um, Joy. This is your mom's Jacobin pigeon. My favorite breed is actually an English Carrier or Racing Homer. Um, the Racing Homer is um, the Rock Dove. Um, and everything pretty much went all different ways, but the Rock Dove or Racing Homer is my one of my favorite and the English Carrier. Okay. Um, your favorite well, color? You have to say, well, in this interview, I have to train him. Uh, the My Pigeon Magazine will be doing the breeder, the breed, the hobby, and advice. So now we're on the bird. So he asked me the first question, my favorite breed. Okay, and then? Um, favorite color of the bird you, that you like? Uh, yellow. The yellow. I really like that yellow. Some people call it gold or, um, you know, all different colors, but yellow I, I like. Okay. Nickname of your, fav of your favorite bird? Um, my favorite bird is Peck. I, I uh, made a mistake by releasing her on the Windward side and she never came home. But Peck was my favorite bird. Um, I had different birds. Um, oh, I have a the Yellow Saddle Homer. That's my favorite bird. She's even on my credit card. So. I have no nickname. Sorry. The feed, custom mix, or pre-mix? Um, Choice of feed or um, the feed that we like is the Waimanalo Banto mix. So. Um, amount and current birds and birds all time. Um, the amount we have now is a little bit under 50. Maybe we have about 49. Most we ever had is almost 300. All time uh, thousands. thousands. Okay. Special routine before and after breeding. Before our breeding, we make sure we pick um, the ones that we want. Uh, what we do, we uh, worm, worm them. Um, we give them some antibiotics, probiotics. We really clean them out uh, because if you have a very healthy bird, you have healthy babies. And after. Uh, right, right, right after the moat, right before the moat, we stop breeding because we don't want to put extra stress. Then we give them probiotics, vitamins, and we separate the boys and the girls. Okay, travels, any trips, gear. Wait, we, we're doing the hobby now. Yeah. Okay. 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 So. Okay. Any trips geared around the hobby? Um. You know, we've been going to a lot of different places. We have a lot of friends in the, in the mainland. We're so lucky enough to have a lot of friends. So we went to the Great Western. Our friend John DiCarlo Jr. have a Great Western with his family. Angie and Senior, Elio, Rocky, and uh, Juliana. Uh, we also went to the pageant. Remember the pageant? Yes. Yeah, so that was fun with all our friends in LAPC. 
Uh, we also went to Vancouver, Washington. Uh, remember how cold it was? Yeah. Yeah. So and then I went to San Diego. We went to Riverside. We went to Ontario. Uh, we went to Florida. Orlando. Yeah, Orlando. So yes, we did a lot of travel. Yep. Uh, personal goal in the hobby? Personal goal is to bring home a national champion in the show um, pigeon. No matter what breed we have, I want to bring home a national champion. Uh -huh. Special life it, life changing. Try that again. Special life changing. This was a... Uh, where is that? Moments. A moment. A special moment or a lifetime, life changing moment. Um. I always had pigeons, and like anything, I didn't want to. When I had, uh, I grew up, I just didn't want to deal with pigeons. But when you guys came along and you guys wanted pigeons, that was my life changing. Being that you guys wanted to learn about the breed. Okay, other hobbies like pigeon, like chickens, parrots, dogs, fishing, hunting, cars, or sports. Uh, other hobbies. <laughs> 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 Other hobbies, I have chickens, we have dogs, we have cats, fish. Fish was a big thing of my hobby, but um, just watching you guys. Watching you guys and taking care of the kids. Getting kids off the computers and into the yard with animals. That's my hobby. Okay, advice. Make sure nice. Make sure nice. Health of bird, medication, vitamin, and supplement. Also advice now, yeah. Yeah, advice. Advice. Um, I like uh, a lot of different things. Make sure you have very uh, potent things, meaning um, it didn't expire. My advice to a lot of people is learn. A uh, healthy bird is that you get good results. Nice feathering, nice quality, nice babies. So just maybe, um, do research about getting healthy birds. Clean feed and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, and the uh, housing and type of coop, coop, loft, and cage. Okay, so my advice for um, have a lot of ventilation, dry, make sure it's um, clean, um, make a design that's real easy to scrape and throw away the doodle. Don't make it too small, but you make sure it's um, very easy. Okay? Family balance. How do I balance my family? Yeah. Um, when my daughter was here, we made sure all of us went outside and um, we took care of the birds all at one time. All of us. Um, we gear family trips around fam you know, animals, right? And moderation. We just know when it's enough. I'm sorry. Almost pal, almost pal. <laughs> 20 years if I could say, what would you tell you? 20 years, if I could tell myself something 20 years back, I think I would say... Be 20. Huh? Be 20. Yeah, no, 25. Okay. I would just be getting married and stuff. Good are you? I think I would say... Um, get good birds. The beginning part. With, to start, get real good birds. And generations from that, you get better birds. Don't get any other birds. Don't... Spend time, spend money, and get the ones that you want. That's what I'll say. I tell myself. Mm -hmm. The last question is... Open advice. New person in hobby? To the new person in hobby, make friends. Um, don't listen to a, just a set of friends. If you're going racing, rollers, show. Make friends. Network. Tell everybody what you want. And listen to everybody. And make your own advice. Uh, take your own advice, meaning... Um, don't say, oh, Cameron said this, or Joel said this, or Brian said this. Do it, and make sure you do what you want to do. Okay, is that it? Yep. Okay, uh, for My Pigeon Magazine, I'm Cameron, and this is Jason. Thank you for watching. Um, have a great day, and My Pigeon Magazine will be coming out on Amazon.com very soon. Aloha. Aloha. Tick, 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 tick,